our research assistant, Pilot Pete, has turned us on to another uh, piece of software here from Camino Labs, and I'm with uh, Roger Obando to talk to us about it. It's nice to be with you. So Camino is an urban discovery app. Uh, what we're doing is we're providing our users with user-generated walking tours of cities. Um, it's crowdsourced information that we've gone out to uh, knowledgeable locals, to travel bloggers, to people who really know what the little nooks and crannies of cities are um, and are willing to provide them to our users. Uh, we have them create what we like to consider walkable playlists. Uh, so it's basically an itinerary. How many times have you been in town visiting someone and, uh, and they say, all right, well, we got to go to breakfast here because they have the best pancakes. Uh, and then you got to go to this park because there's this feature you got to see. And then, oh, they make the best cocktails over here. We got to go there later. So what we try to do is we try to encompass all that into experiences and have people share it with the community. Uh, that sounds really slick. So is this uh, an uh, iOS app then? This is an iOS app for now. Uh, eventually, we would like to, to make it to other platforms, but we're a very young company. We're only five and a half months out of the gate. Wow. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's good to focus right now on, on one thing and, uh, and go from there. Sure, so um, we are, uh, I'm going to tell people who are watching this, we are in a uh, GPS-free zone, and this is an app that uh, actually depends on your GPS lo uh, location to help you figure out where you're going to go. But he's got some content up here for us to see, hopefully. Yes, fortunately, uh, you can use the website or the app to save content for later, so I can just pull that up and, and show you one of these. I live in Manhattan, I live in Brooklyn, actually, so I have a lot of content in Manhattan that I've kind of stored away to see for later. So what you're looking at here is actually a, a detail screen of, of one of our hikes. Uh, you can see, and again, this app is freaking out right now. The app has, uh, has uh, issues when it can't find its GPS location, exactly. it looks like. So um, just keep talking. So uh, you, can, you can see uh, what the user has created for you as far as uh, what they consider to be the, the locations that you should be checking out. You say, for example, Katz's Deli, anyone who's been in New York knows that's a great place to go get some pastrami. Uh, and we, we ask them to give you a recommendation. So as you add a location, you have to say either buy the, try the, see the, or talk to. And they're all short form recommendations um, that really give you some direction when you get to the location. It's not like, all right, well, I'm here, what do I do now? It's like, I'm here, I'm told to talk to this person. Last night I went to this great place called Flytrap just around the corner and I spoke to uh, the most fantastic bartender. So the first thing I did is I pulled out my app, said go here, talk to Valen, she'll hook you up with a great drink. And so now people who are in this area and they're wondering like I was, where should I go get a drink after a long day at Macworld? Walk and walk there so, and speak to So them. if I were to go to Manhattan where I don't know anything but I just happen to go to a bar and I find a great bartender who's fun to talk to, can I create an entry that says talk to this guy? Absolutely, and that's what we're hoping everyone's going to do. I mean, that's that's what I did last night, and it's you know we're we're asking for that to be itinerary. So it's not just one spot. I think Yelp and Foursquare have that one covered. What we're trying to do is we're making sure that it's itineraries. It's let's spend whether it's an hour or three hours or you know all day going to these different places and and following my recommendation. You know, it's a good way. Uh, to pretend you're hanging out there with a local and they're telling you what to do. That sounds really fun. So again, the application is called Camino, K-A-M-I-N-O, and I assume that's in the uh, iOS uh, App Store. It is in the App Store. It's Camino with a K, not with a C. A little confusion on that one. And the website is GoCamino.com. Great. Thank you very much, Roger. Appreciate you taking the time with us. Thank you.